This video is sponsored by Aura. It can be very easy to begin to feel that contentment or well-being is something you're always chasing in life. Something that you'll only feel once you have completed a certain task or overcome the next barrier or become a certain way. Those words are in a relaxation meditation that I've been doing this week and they just hit me so hard the first time I heard them and I've been thinking about them all this week. I've been thinking of the narratives that I've told myself over the years. Things like, when I finally find someone to marry and share my life with, I will finally truly be happy. Or, when I stop working for a boss and work for myself, well then I'll be truly happy. Or maybe even when I move to the country into a little cottage, then I will be totally happy. And most recently, I've been saying to myself, when I finally feel better physically, when I finally overcome this health challenge that I've been going through, I will finally be happy. I'm realizing how much of a trap that mentality is and that the only way to be free of it is just to focus on being happy right now. Yes, there may be things I want, but I am already whole right in this moment. I have always loved the quote, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. So I am working extra hard at just being okay, even when things aren't okay. I love to set goals because I think that's how you grow, but along the way, I want to just be better at being grateful for what I have right now. And speaking of what I have right now, I have one little tiny marigold seedling that decided to go ahead and pop up first of the season and it makes me happy. So is this too much or is it perfect? There. Oh. Or there. I feel like it's cute. Is it? <laughs> I feel like it is. This is a lamp that hung in my grandparents' house, and we used to spend a lot of time there. So when I look at it, it is full of memories for me, and I am really, really happy to add it to the cottage. I'm gonna have to do a better hook. Unfortunately, it's too much. Can't believe I'm actually saying it. Can't believe I'm saying something's too much. But that's too much. Changed my mind. <laughs> So I did not film myself because I just wasn't feeling up to being filmed, but I put a real plant hook up there. Well, actually, I drove to Home Depot to buy the real hook, put it in, and now I'm gonna hang this up. What's the chance it's gonna work? I wasn't sure about it at first, but now that it's been hanging there a few days, it has definitely grown on me and it's perfect for reading. I love that about it. And that freed up the lamp that used to be in that spot. I moved it over here and think it looks really, really cute, though not practical since it's on a record player.
Thank you so much to Aura Health for sponsoring today's video. I've shared so many times that anxiety is a really constant struggle for me, but lately with additional challenges that just seem to be piling up, I have found that it's really become a must for me to take some time each day for some daily affirmations and some meditations. It has just become something that I have to do every day. What I love most about Aura's app is the variety of topics, therapists, and storytellers, literally hundreds right at my fingertips. So I can just really easily choose what feels best for that day. And then the app goes ahead and tracks which of the guides that I've really liked and helps me find even more that just work out perfectly for me. It is really easy to choose the length of time you have available for that day. All the different times are listed so you can pick exactly what works for you that day. Aura is trusted by over 7 million people with over 30,000 five-star reviews. And you can use the link in my description to get started for free on Aura's website. They are offering the first 500 people a free trial and an exclusive 25% off deal. Hey buddy, what do you think? Do you want to go into town? Do you want to go into town? You want to go to the barkery? Should we go get you a treat treat? <laughs> a special treat treat? It was an absolutely beautiful day for a drive. I love seeing those white puffy clouds. It's just so, so picturesque. It is such a beautiful sunny day. It is very windy though. <laughs> Charlie's not going to like that. He's, it's like the kind of wind that could blow him away, but he's been such a nice little fellow lately being so patient with me as I've been dealing with a health issue. I've shared that. And, um, yeah, it's going to take a little while to get better. So it's going to take longer than I originally thought to get better. But meanwhile, he's not getting the fun he needs, really. He's an active little guy. He likes people. He likes to go out and do things. He's happiest when I take him to friends' houses. And he's a social little guy. So I brought him into town today to take him to a little puppy store to let him pick out a treat. <laughs> because this is what you do when you don't have real children. <laughs> you treat your dog like a child. <laughs> My little Charlie is a perfect example of something in my life that I need to just be okay with exactly how it is. I've worked so hard with him with his anxiety, but three years into training, he is still anxious. Hi. Say hi! I don't often show the anxious side of Charlie here on my videos because I am just trying to focus on all the things I love the most about him, but it is sometimes a little bit exhausting when everywhere I take him, he's just terrified and overwhelmed. And I've tried so hard for so long and I feel like we're just not getting anywhere, but I'm gonna keep trying because I love him. Last summer, I brought him into town pretty much every day to take a walk, to try and help socialize him, to take him into stores, let him meet people. And I felt like we made a little tiny bit of progress, but of course we didn't come into town in the winter because it's too cold for him. So now coming in for the first time this year, it felt like last year didn't even happen. Like his anxiety is all right back to where it was when we started. Even when he was a baby, he was this way. And I actually had a trainer tell me that the only way I'd be able to succeed with him is if he was on Ritalin, which I'm just not going to do. So I keep on working with him and just keep on enjoying the things about him that are amazing. Like how good he is at training. Your cookies are blowing away. This was why I started the agility training with him because he absolutely loves that and it gives him some exercise since taking walks is not really his thing. Though I keep on trying to help him learn that it's safe, he's okay, but he is just an anxious little guy. My mom the other week came to the park with us and she said, really, he's just a teeny tiny little guy with very big feelings, which is very true. My last chihuahua was a brave little girl who would walk miles with me, but I love this little guy and all his little quirks. 
<laughs> it's just a little windy. <laughs> They're okay. <laughs> I'll say. I stopped at the shop right, and I have to say, I'm not one for pre made food pretty much anywhere. I'm just kind of I'm a little picky and I'm a little bougie about my food, but ShopRite chili that's pre-made in their pre-made section is delicious. So I'm parked in the sunshine. Charlie's back there. I don't know if you can see him back there getting a little sun bath and I'm going to eat my store chili and I'm going to be excited about it. <laughs> Something just flew off the tree and hit me. Okay. <laughs> I set my timer to go off every hour. I've been doing this challenge and I put it on my Patreon with my Patreon group last week as our weekly challenge to set your phone timer for every oh the crows are all coming over. <laughs> to set your phone timer for every hour or you can pick any increment of time but I like an hour and when it goes off name three things I'm grateful for. But the challenge is it needs to be something different every single time. So I've been doing this, with, I've done this before and loved it. I've been doing it since last week. So I've gone through all the like regular things like the sun and uh, my friends and water, all the things that are like, you know, <laughs> of course, very obvious to be grateful for. So now I'm in this little part where it's, it gets a little harder. So I'm going to say I'm grateful for the crows, even though I don't love the sound of their voice. <laughs> They're crowing. I'm grateful for the trees. I'm sitting in front of very beautiful one and I'm grateful for the green grass that is starting to sprout again in this little parking lot <laughs> so because spring is coming so it's a fun challenge if you've never tried that um I feel like the first the first few times when the, when the timer goes off it's like no problem you go through things easily after a while it gets harder and then it gets really hard and then after a few days it starts to get easier to like look around, I think. I think that's what I start to do. I start to look around and realize things I'm grateful for, which is why it's such a good reminder to to look around and be grateful. So that's the challenge we were doing last week. <laughs> so if you're up for it, it's a fun one. And um, you can't do every hour, every three hours, every four hours, whatever. I like every hour because it really does push me. And it's, um, yeah, it's just good to keep checking back in with gratitude because Sure enough, the other negative thoughts in my head pop up like constant. So it's good to be constantly putting in the positive, grateful ones. Okay, I'm done by parking lot lunch now. <laughs> he may be anxious, but boy, can he train. Okay, <laughs> ready? Let's go. Ready? Here we go. Good boy. What? You want to go see Betty? You want to watch Betty? Come here, buddy. Hey, uh, it's me. Betty. Betty. You can get down. Um, we got you. It's uh, <laughs> about hope. Oh. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh. Oh, see Daddy? <laughs> This weekend, I'm hoping to tick a few things off of my spring bucket list. Not sure which ones yet, but we'll see. What do you have going on in your neck of the woods? I would love it if you would leave a comment and let me know. And thank you again so much to Aura. Be sure to click the link in my bio to get started for free today. And the first 500 people to use my link will also get 25% off.